Come on, die! Come on! I'm going around in circles here. Die! Okay, we're going straight into him here. That's him down. And him down too. I survived! Hello everyone, it's me again, Matt. Really appreciate you joining today's video. We are playing Gunner Heat PC. This is not new, it's been around for quite some time. A lot of people have asked me to play it. And it is a startup game from a really cool little, uh, I guess, development group that are working to make a simulation tank game, which is really, really eye-opening for me because coming from the Steelbeast Pro world, uh, I feel like they're almost the monopoly of uh, tank simulation games that are out there. Let's not try and classify War Thunder as a tank simulator. Please have some respect for, uh, for Steelbeast Pro. I still do. You know, I don't play it as much due to some certain background activities that occurred in the past, but for the most part, uh, I still thoroughly like the game. I just don't play it as much. But this is something a little different. A smaller group, um, you know, a startup group that's working with Patreon and PayPal and their community Discord, which is fantastic, by the way, which I will leave in the description box below. And this is an old build that was given to me some time ago. If you're new to the world of Gunnahy PC, then, you know, this isn't news to you. If you are, uh, sorry, if you are new to the world of Gunnahy PC, this is going to be news to you. But if you're not and you're already aware of this game, there's a number of YouTubers have already gone over it and it's got a ton of potential and I'm super excited for it. So I thought I'd finally get on board the bandwagon and start talking about this game. As you can see by the version here, this is very old, very, very old, okay? Lots of things are still being done in the background on this, but what I decided to do is show you where this game was at previously and where it is today. Certain features still being worked on, of course, it is completely pre-alpha, as you said, it says here, insanely pre-alpha test build. So I'm going to go over the pre-build before and then we're going to go over the up-to-date one by the way i'd like to thank those individuals who allowed me to uh, play this game by uh, donating me the link and the pass to play so thank you we're going to go into uh, instant action we're going to start off with uh, a desert practice and uh, in fact no we're not we're going to go defeat the let's have a look here no we're going to do desert practice and we're going to go into an m1a2 sep and we're going to put some rounds down range now Let's just be very clear about this. As I did say before, if you've seen this all before, then maybe, uh, you know, it's nothing new. We'll talk about the further development here, but the game is a startup. There is a lot of work to do. But for me, the, the premise of this game is everything I want. Something that is a balance between War Thunder and Steel Beast Pro. And I personally feel like this is exactly what this is going to become. Um, realism is key here. They're working quite heavily on realism and something that is something enjoyable to play not has to be so realistic that it's just yeah it's not fun anymore um as you can see on the left we have all the different controls and variables the sighting system looks very pretty um and you'll see when we start engaging targets here uh that uh the damage model is also quite interesting so we're going to laze this target up so we're going to laser designate the target give me my range put a little bit lead on it and on the way Target stopped. Beautiful. And the, the, the visuals are very, very nice. Okay, that is that is gorgeous. <laughs> Plume of smoke coming off a cooked off tank. Uh, let's take this one out next. A little bit of lead on the way. It's a miss. It went through his wheels. Try again. It is engine bay. Now, if you notice on the top right, you'll see that it's actually telling us what's being hit and what's being penetrated. I'm going to go the thermal here. So infrared, lays him again. This one's taken a beating. Now I am firing fin round at this tank. Uh, M829A3 fin. I'm gonna take this one out next. <laughs> My lead is terrible. My lead is not good. So you can hold the right mouse button for that smoother aim. On the way. Whoops. 
I dropped the lead there. My apologies. Still not got the good lead there. There we go. These tanks are taking a beating. Let's take this one. Wow, I keep hitting their engine bay. My lead is not good. Let's change to... There we go. <laughs> On the way. Wow, these guys are taking a smashing. He isn't dying. There we go. No, he's still going. He's still going. Okay, he's down. Struck APS round, so I'm hitting his ammunition. Let's see what else we got on the range here. Oh, we do have some Abrams. Let's go for an Abram, shall we? I'm going to aim for his lower glasses plate. Place his plate. Oh. Oh, we're on heat rounds now. Okay, so we're only using heat. I've used all my fin. So as you can see, a, a little ways to go yet, you know. It still looks pretty good though. They're working on the tracks. I can jump into commander's view here. Looks very nice. And so we've got the ration box there like that. Okay, so obviously this Abrams is flying. And uh, I can control the vehicle in the commander's view. Okay, no problem. As you can see, left and right steer. Across like that. Very nice. Tracks aren't showing yet. Of course, they're not movable. But uh, I think when you when I'll show you the the rest of the development here, you'll uh, you'll appreciate it. Again, visuals very very nice. Considering this is literally the first step of their build, very impressive. It's only going to get better from here. And I'll show you the development that we get into just shortly. I um, just want to put one more round down here. Oh, completely out of it. That's fine. Okay, so let's go back to the main menu, and we'll do uh, we'll do the firing range, and we're gonna take the. In fact, we're gonna go back. We'll go to. <laughs> I like technical swarm. Let's do a technical. We're gonna go in a technical truck. Oh goodness! Here we go. We're in a Toyota. That's where things get real. Now we're in a tank simulator. <laughs> Brilliant, I love it. Let's see how far we make it here, folks. <laughs> 500 rounds of M2 machine gun now. Let's see if we can hold off technicals. I, I think they're coming. I hope they're coming. Is that a dust plume? Yeah, there's dust plumes there. That means vehicles are on the way. Here we go. we go it's all over so that's the technical <laughs> let's see what else we got here instant action let's go for uh, mm, survival and we're gonna go in a BMD 3 because why not why wouldn't you want to be in a BMD 3 so this is a interesting little vehicle to be using here we're using armored piercing rounds with 200 rounds of it I have HE as well. So we'll keep it with the armor piercing now. I think I'm going to be going against uh, the same type of unit, but we'll soon see. Hopefully, uh, I don't get knocked out in the first round. Let's have a look here. Here they come. I get that lead on there, boys. One. A little bit of a hold down position here. Two. Three. Oh. Come on, die. Come on. I'm driving around in circles here. Die. Okay, 
Okay, we're going straight into him here. That's him down. And him down too. I survived! Wait, there's one left trying to make a... Whoa, they're still coming. They're still coming. Okay, here we go. Too far away. Let's get into my gun sight here. Oh, I can still laze on this. Okay. Oof. Where did he come from? From the side. Okay, that's fine. So there we go. So, you know, this is uh, this is very early in its development. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go out of the game and go into the new developed version and go from there. So let's go do that. Okay, and here we are today. How are we doing? Well, as you can see, still supported by Patreon and PayPal. I would encourage you to go support it. I will be doing so. Uh, and the Community Discord, which is a fantastic group. The version 2020-1004. So this is the most up-to-date version as of right now. A little bit change in features of what you can and cannot do. We do have a Proving Ground and the Teaser Map. We're going to go to the Proving Ground and take a look first. So let's just jump in here. So here we are. Okay, so a little bit different now. Of course, we're not uh, we're not uh, going against armor or anything as of right now. We're just kind of been put on a, literally put on a pedestal. Um, and here we are. Beautiful tank, 105 millimeter gun, M68, and we're going to go for a little drive. And as you can see, the tracks have been animated and very nicely. May I may add, looks very nice. We take a little drive through the I guess somewhat of the assault course here. Audio sounds good. Now, in terms of turret movement, uh, you can move around there like so. Definitely hard on the right stick there. The interface is nice. Uh, I like the fact that it's minimalistic. There's not much going on, which is good. I'm sure that will change. And we can take it nice and steady here. Ooh, nearly put a barrel touch there. That wouldn't have been good. And it tells me what gear I'm in, what RPMs I'm going along. Very nice. See if we can do a neutral turn on top of here. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, we're neutral turning. Uh oh, did I get it stuck? I got it stuck. Okay, let's retry that. <laughs> I got it stuck already. Okay, let's just go across this assault course. Clearly, uh, my neutral turn pivot point is very, very large. <laughs> Put some speed on this thing. Let's take it, take it through its, uh, through its paces. So I've never go in a real tank across these obstacles at this speed, but steering is interesting. It, it holds your left stick hard when you take it off. So you really just have to do little taps. I like how the front wheel does not continue to spin even though it's not touching the ground. That's awesome. Good suspension. Dynamics there. I like it. Nice modeling. It looks very pretty. I have to admit, the tank looks very nice. Uh-oh, I did it again. Like a, a common common theme right now with, with me driving these tanks. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Uh, okay, so let's go take a look over here. It looks like there's a T72 over there, so we'll go take a peek. Yeah, she. In terms of turning, it's interesting. So uh, I kind of like it. You have to kind of make sure you don't put too much heavy stick on. It would probably get annoying for those who don't know how tanks steer and turn, though. So there's the. Uh, 72 there, very nice. And I can go into free camera mode too if I want to, so which is always very nice. Go to overlay, so I got my ammunition overlay there, really cool. Awesome, I love it. Okay, let's see where else we can find. Let's go down this range road and see what we can do. So of course I do have other variables to be in. I can go on my commander spot, which I'm probably just gonna stay in for now. Like I said, you really got to be careful on that left and right stick turning, because she will fight you. <laughs> train looks good, honestly. Train's not bad at all. A lot nicer than Steelbees Pro. <laughs> and I know it's a totally different engine. This uses the Unity engine, just so you know. Now we're going to try and uh, engage this thing here. Yeah, 
that stick is that gets annoying so I literally just touch the D key just fractionally but it turns hard like you uh, you mess with that stick turn you're gonna have a hard time so here we have a look at a somewhat of a firing range here let's put some rounds down range some other vehicles going on here Threes, tank, and yeah, the M. Nice, nice. Okay, let's move up to the edge of this firing range here. Put some rounds down range. So, what we got going on here? Uh, let's go for a witness screen here. see if we can make this look good. Oh, that looks amazing. Looks really, really good. A rifled barrel on there too. You guys can get nice and tight here. Beautiful. Let's change weapons. 50 cal. I love it. Awesome. Get some 50 cal rounds down there. Tracer, walking on that tracer to the target. I like that too. Okay, let's change to coax. Give me a second here. <laughs> I'm not staying within my arcs, that's for sure. Nice. Looks really good. Sounds really good too. overlay again. So there's all my ammo. Got a lot of ammo in there. Wow. I'm wondering if the rounds deplete as you fire. That would be really cool. Have the rounds disappear each time you fire. I don't believe they are. That's okay. Very quick reload on this gun too. Okay, so yeah, not a huge amount of, uh, of you know, interaction just yet. Oh, I've got to stuff again. <laughs> so let's uh, let's go take a look at the teaser map and we'll go from there. Look at the main menu. Teaser map. I'm interested. So maps is a big thing with these kind of games because if you're playing a realistic tank simulation game, you're going to want to be able to have long-range engagements. Because modern tanks require long ranges to engage from. So let's just have, go take a look, I guess, see what's going on. So the environment's nice. I mean, the grass is nice. You can see the dust cloud coming off here. Looks really good. Looks very nice. Let's go to uh, free cam here. So let's try to take a look at the tank a little closer. Modeled very nicely. Very nicely. I love it. I think it looks great. Let's keep moving forward. That's, I love that sound of that M2. Sounds so good. Look at the tracer following the grass. That's neat too. You see that lighting? That lighting effect is incredible. I love it. Could do with some better tracer though. I can see fighting tanks in this environment would not be much fun. Uh, very woody. Let's have a look through the gap of the trees here. This, this is nice. It's an open train. I love it. I love it. This would be fun for tank engagements. Oh yeah, look at that. Very cool, there's the road. I get faster if I go on the road. I should. That's the... Oh. I also noticed there's no tread pattern on the floor yet. Oh yeah, there is. There is a little bit. I should be flying like a bat out of hell on this thing. Nice. 
nice. Well, it looks very nice, guys. Come on. You have to be you have to be honest. It looks very, very pretty. So there you have it, folks. Uh, Gunner Heat PC. A little ways to go yet, of course. It's a brand new developed game. Oh, is that a tank? It is as well. Oh, God. I'm going to have to shoot you. I'm going to have to shoot you, tank. Oh, I got him good. Let's give him another one. I stopped him or not. He didn't shoot at me, which is interesting. Driver's right leg, driver's left hand. Wow, it's showing the body parts. That's interesting. It is fuel tank, wet fuel rack, batteries. He's not doing so great. He's turning him into Swiss cheese right now. I like how the smoke plume stays around. That's really cool. It'd be nice to have a really good loading animation in this game. That's something that they need to work on. If anything, please, Gunner Heat PC crew, if you are working on this, please give us a good, solid reload animation. Please hit driver's brain. <laughs> Do drivers have brains? Very cool. It would also be nice to see some displacement. I don't know if it has displacement. It doesn't. So to have some displacement would be nice because the gun... Maybe it does. So let's aim for the left rear tank. And let's see if we get displacement. We do get displacement. That's good. So if you don't know what displacement means, it's obviously recoil affecting your next point of aim. So we were on the left tank, uh, fuel tank. Now we're on the right fuel tank. So displacement's good. So there we go, folks. I mean, honestly, I think this has got so much potential. I'm so excited for what this could become and how this is going to be. Um, I'm going to be supporting it on Patreon. I encourage you to do the same. Please share this video around if you could. Let's get some traction on this. Um, looks like there's another tank over there. You might be friendly, this one. I'm sure I just saw a tank. Yeah, if you have interest, uh, please go join their community Discord, uh, check out their Patreon. And if you enjoyed my video, you're more than welcome to join my Discord and also join my Patreon. We're going to do uh, another round here. Target. Let's give him another one. I think I'm out of ammo. I am out of ammo. It's a perfect time to finish. So guys, Gunner Heat PC strongly would encourage you to take a look at this game it looks absolutely incredible it's gonna got it's it's gonna explode i guarantee you it's gonna it's gonna get big and rightly so i mean the amount of detail and effort that they're putting into it so far and the community involvement that i'm seeing too is outstanding so hopefully we're gonna see some really good things from this in the future i appreciate you stopping by on today's video and i'll catch you around on the next one make sure you click the little bell by the subscribe button to be notified of any upcoming videos in the future all the best bye bye